Steve DiFilippo has always had an entrepreneurial spirit. It began with a paper route when he was just a kid. Later, he had a landscaping business. When he was 24 years old, he bought an already established restaurant, Davio's. And as they say, the rest is history. He's taken that recipe for success and has grown the one restaurant into a national brand, Davio's Northern Italian Steakhouse. There are now seven locations on the East Coast. Davio's has just celebrated its 30th anniversary. His winning business advice can be found in his bestseller titled, It's All About the Guest, Exceeding Expectations in Business and in Life the Davios way. We are happy to welcome Steve DeFilippo to the dish. DeFilippo, I keep getting that wrong. I mean, wrong. we've just butchered it eight well, ways. Say we, it the right way. You know, see, DeFilippo. <laughs> it's not that hard, right, DeFilippo? No, it uh, shouldn't be. No. Tell us what you brought for us. <laughs> well, right, my goodness, isn't this unbelievable? By the way, I didn't make any of this food. <laughs> you guys did all this, which is, you know, I've done hundreds of shows. Yeah. I've never had this happen before that I get to just show you up. Get to show up and, and eat. you <laughs> did all this food. I, I just, I'm just so blown away by it. Uh, so here we have our, our gnocchis, we have our meatballs, we have our bolognese with tagliatelle, we have our warm spinach salad over there, uh, our tomato soup, which is one of our uh, dishes that we've had for, forever. And of course, we have to have a martini, mm, right? Yeah. So this is vodka yes, and cherry brandy in here and a little lime juice. Uh, it's, and this is all real food here. Oh, and of course we have our chocolate cake, which is a warm chocolate cake uh, with ice cream on the side. So you got a business degree from Boston University. I did have a marketing degree. Correct. I mean, it sounds like your family was always geared toward business. How did yeah. you deviate and become Well, a my chef? father, uh, you know, he was part of this company called Unifirst. Uh, he was the president of the company. And so I, I grew up in a family where uh, it was a small company when it first started, and now it's a New York Stock Exchange company, huge company all over the country, and, and actually internationally. So I was in that, and then my mom, uh, you know, great cook, obviously. She's a Portuguese woman, and, and you know, she taught me how to cook. And uh, so I had this kind of, like, diverse growing up. I had this business guy, and I mm -hmm. had this cook, you know. And so when I went to school, I always, and I loved restaurants. I, you know, we traveled a lot as a kid, and I, and I loved to, to be in restaurants and hotels. And uh, so then after, I, you know, I went to BU, and then I went to a chef school after that. Uh, and then I just took over Davio's and, and well, when you did something there. when you started you did something that the, the chefs weren't doing you were opening a, a chef opening a restaurant in effect right and it was not easy to get money to do that no then. well money, it's still you know people ask me all the time what is the hardest thing about opening a restaurant and it's always going to be money. Yeah. money it's so expensive to open a restaurant uh, especially today uh, you know with all the all the rules and you know the fire stuff I mean it's just amazing how expensive it is and, and it was it was tough for me back then um, you know but we got through it and we, I was very fortunate that the restaurant I took over, we ended up tripling sales within a couple of years, and that really saved me. And then, then we just started growing. And I, again, I grew up in a family with, where I saw a company grown, yeah. and that's kind of what I wanted to do. Right? And mean, that's what I'm doing now. But to know? go from 15 employees to what 900? Yeah, I know it's kind of you know we still have five of the original 15. Oh really? Isn't that, really? Isn't that awesome? <laughs> it really is cool, you know. And we always my even it's called it's all about the guest. I actually call our our employees our inner guests because I feel that if you take care of the the people who come through that back door, as well as the people that come through that front door, you're all set. That's 100% yeah. of the equation, right? So, you know, I didn't wait for a governor or a president to tell me to have health insurance. I yeah. think it's ridiculous. You know, we've had health insurance for, for 30 years and dental wow. insurance and we have vacations. I have a guy, uh, one of the original guys, you know, six weeks vacation. I don't see him all summer. I yeah. don't even, you know, by the time he comes back in September, I don't even forget what he looks like, you know. So, <laughs> you know, it's really, it's so important to take care of your people. And I don't think I'd be sitting here if I didn't have the right people. I think that's a great philosophy. Right. And, and now you're expanding to the West Coast. Correct. First yep. time, first restaurant. Uh, right. In L.A. In L.A., yeah, very exciting. Yeah, uh, that's a that's a big leap. Yeah, well, actually, coming to New York, I think, was a pretty big leap yeah. for me as well. Uh, but going to L.A., you know, obviously, it's a plane ride. Uh, but I have to find the right person out there. You know, we're looking, we're interviewing different people, and you know, it's about the people. You know, I'm not going to go to L.A. And, and you know, be a Boston guy. I have to find local L.A. people to run that restaurant. Now, we'll bring them to Boston or New York or one of our other cities, uh, show them the Davio's way. Uh, but they need to be local people. You don't go uh, you know, into another city uh, with people from another city. You have to find yeah. local people who who know the landscape and know what they're doing. It's very important. Well, we appreciate the Davio's way as yeah, we hand you this oh, signature. Oh, wow, this is so great. Get you, uh, this yeah. dish, rather, to get your signature yeah, on it. It's just so cool, I gotta tell you. If you could have any uh, this meal with any person, past or present, who would that person be? Well, you know, Bruce Springsteen is probably one of my favorites. <laughs> I, I have to say he's back on tour next month, which I'm so excited for. Now, he's been to Davio's a bunch of times, uh, but to actually sit down with Bruce and, and eat with him, uh, I think would be kind of cool. Yeah. You know, I, I really would, would love to do that. Great yeah. pick. Chef Steve, thank well, you thank so much. You. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. For more on this dish, please head to our website at cbsthismorning.com.